You're in for a treat for today's video because I've compiled the ultimate guide of perfect gifts for the plant obsessed people in your life, family, friends, whoever. So my name is Amy and over at Pretty Purple Door, I help home gardeners design landscapes that are uniquely you. Let's get into the best gifts for plant lovers. So let's just address the elephant in the room, giving plants to plant lovers. It sounds like a really great idea, but it's really like the last thing that I would give to a plant lover. And this is just my personal opinion. You can argue all you want about what I think about this. If you're a gardener and you understand that your gardening friend also loves plants, then by all means go for it. But if you're not a gardener, there are a few things that uh, you need to keep in mind before you can gift a plant, uh, the conditions of the space that they have. There's a lot of plants that are actually toxic to pets and things like that. So you have to watch what you actually give them. There's other plants that can become invasive or aggressive in their garden. So if you're not a super plant obsessed person, you're Self, I'd kind of shy away from giving the plants, but don't worry. I have a huge list of my absolute favorite products to give and also to receive as a gardener. So as you watch this video, you'll get lots more ideas for what to give them that isn't necessarily plants. Okay, so my first category of awesome gifts for plant lovers is clothing in general. And I'm gonna start with these baggy, loose linen overalls jumpsuit. I actually have this and I really, really love it. It's really baggy, so it's nice to work in. And I love that it's an overalls situation because as a gardener, you're always like bending over and trying to like pull weeds or work in the dirt. And I don't like it when my shirt is going up or my butt crack is hanging out of my pants. So I love this overall look and it's like a linen. It's a really light fabric and they also have these really I have this olive green color But I also like that they have all these cool patterns and because it's so baggy It's like easier to choose a size for somebody. So this is a really great gift It was a gift to myself personally, but if somebody gave me this I'd be super pumped about it Okay, so the next one is just a sun hat. I like this one because it has also a neck flap, which would help keep the sun off of the back of your neck if you're outside gardening. And they have a lot of really cute options here. There's greens and oranges and pinks and the purple. I have a purple one myself. And just a really cute and great gift for a gardener. And the next one I have here is gardening gloves. I can never have enough gardening gloves. I love getting them because I hate having to pay for them. And aren't these like really super cute? They're leather, they're working gloves. So they're great for like weeding and digging, planting, raking, pruning it says. So lots of different gardening tasks that can be performed with these gloves. And I just love that there's a really cute, a nice pattern on them. And there's a couple different options here that you can choose from. So these are really, really cool. So next up are these gardening sleeves. So they have a thumb hole in them and then the sleeve goes up the arm and this can help protect your arms from the sun, but also if you're doing any pruning tasks or dealing with something like a poison ivy or something that's prickly, my arms get scratched up a lot. So I really love these that you could just throw them on like a glove instead of having to put like extra clothing on or like long sleeves. If it's warm out, that can be difficult. So these sleeves are a really cool option and again they come in all different really cool patterns that you can pick out to fit your friend or family member who's obsessed with gardening I, I love this one this is my favorite the dragonfly one the next option I have is just these rain boots from Jules. These have great reviews and whenever I talk to other gardeners, they are always recommending this particular brand of boot. And they're rain boots, but they're also really cute. They have little flowers on them and they'll protect your feet. They have a nice thick sole so that, you know, a little bit of support. And again, lots of really cute options here. So another really great buy for a friend. And finally, I have this hat. I wear it all the time. I think it's hilarious and just to keep my hair back and stuff, but garden hair don't care. Every time I wear it, if I forget that I have it on and then I actually go out in the real world after I'm gardening, people always laugh at this hat and I think it's just a really cute, really inexpensive gift to give to a friend or a family member who is really loving gardening. My mom actually got me this hat for Christmas one year and I love it. Another great option is a funny or punny t-shirt. I love getting t-shirts like this. This one says easily distracted by plants, comes in a couple different colors, but I have a couple other funny t-shirts that I love to wear. 
and they're great for going out in the garden. This one's super soft. I love that soft material. So there's so many out there. Some of them are actually super duper funny. So I always love getting these as gifts. I think they're a great idea. Okay, so my next gift category are more practical gifts that you can use in the garden. So the first up is pruners for me. I love getting new pruners. They can be pretty expensive. So when somebody else wants to buy them for me, I'm super happy about that. The first set here is from Fiskars and they're a little bit more reasonable of a price if you're just looking for like an extra stocking stuffer type gift for somebody. But if you really want to splurge, these are my absolute favorite. They're Felco and I have the F2 pruners and I just love them, but there's all different sizes and shapes of them that you can find. And these are a little bit more expensive, so it's definitely like this weird experience for me where I'm like, oh, I have my nice Falco pruners. They're nice and ergonomic. I really love them and I take super good care of them because I know how expensive they are. Another great option are hand tools or trowels or things like that. This is the brand that I always use. It's called DeWitt. And here's a three piece set that you can get, but I have so many of them because everyone knows that I love DeWitt gardening tools and I just love them. And the other thing that I love about them, not only are they like great quality, they're hand and forge, but they also have a lifetime guarantee. And I've actually used this guarantee before. I just send them a picture of what happened. One time I was like digging out a rock or something and like the edge got chipped and they just sent me a new trowel in the mail and it's super exciting. So you pay a little bit more for these tools, but they're just really enjoyable to use in the garden and that guarantee, you can't really beat that. So next up is this folding pruning saw and it kind of has a clip and you fold it into itself so it stores really nicely and it's got a serrated like a, a sawtooth edge on it and it's really great for just cutting like a tree branch or getting some brush out of the way and I use it a lot more than I actually ever believed I would so I would recommend this as a great gift. The next one, I love this thing. Okay, so this is the Fiskars Claw Weeder. Uh, so what it is, is it's a stand-up weeding tool. So you would hold the handle, push it down into the ground, and then step on it, and you put the little claw like right over the weed. And when you pull it back and you tip it, it'll pull the weed out of the ground from the roots. And then make sure you get the one with the little orange thing on the handle, because that lets you like go like Ch -ch -ch and then it shoots the weed into a bucket for you. So you don't have to bend over to get the weed clump out of the claw or anything. And I love this. And I think as a gardener, anybody would really love something like this that makes their weeding life easier. Okay, so next up is this Gorilla Garden Dump Cart. And these are so handy and so useful. I can't believe I went without one of these for as long as I did. But if you're looking for like a little bit more expensive or more substantial gift, I think any gardener would really love this. I find it easier because it's flat so I can carry like my plants and stuff in it whereas if it was a wheelbarrow you kind of tip it and then your stuff can tip over all of your plant materials and watering tools and things like that so I like the flat cart so I can just pull it across the yard and carry whatever I need in it and it also dumps really well so here's like a picture of how it dumps out and if you have like a big if you have it filled with dirt or something like that you can just hit the lever and and dump it right out you don't have to actually shovel it and it's really helpful without having to like i don't know i feel like wheelbarrows are so awkward to have to like lift them up and like ugh. so yeah i love the dump cart Okay, and next up is this cute little soil meter. So it's a three-in-one test kit. If you stick it into the ground near your plant, you can test the plant moisture, the light, and the pH level of the soil. And also, it's super cute. It's like a little ladybug. So I would love to get this as a gift. I think it's super adorable and also really practical and useful for a gardener. Okay, so my next gift category are books, and I love to get nonfiction gardening books. I also love to get fiction gardening books or stories about gardening. So here I'll leave a link in the description below for some awesome actual nonfiction gardening books that are practical. Some of my favorites here, this Cultivating Garden Style by Rochelle Grier, really cool book, lots of cool pictures and ways to style your garden, kind of like interior design, but for the outdoors. The Four Season Landscape, one of the books that actually got me into gardening itself. I just love that book. There's some really cool 
other gardening books on here so make sure you check out this list here and pick something that you think would speak to the gardener in your life the other option is to give them non-fiction books so i recently read this one called french dirt and it was just the story of a person that moved to the south of france and then got really interested in gardening there and just kind of tells the story but sometimes it's fun to just read like a fiction story about gardening if you love gardening i read these all throughout the winter and I'll put this whole list in the description below as well. But there's lots of different options here. I don't know anybody that loves gardening that wouldn't love to read a story about someone else who loves gardening too. And finally, shameless plug here, but this is my Plant Perfect activity book. So it's actually an activity book that will help you plan and design your garden. And I find this to be like one of the most amazing gifts you can give somebody that loves to garden because it's got so many really fun activities throughout the book. And it's just really practical, but also fun to just get in there and, and write down all of your ideas and things. Okay, so this next category is really just some miscellaneous things that didn't fit into the other categories. So bear with me here and I'll just get into some more gifts. So. I really love this site. It's called Design Toscano and it's got garden decor in it. So there's definitely something for any personality on your list. They have these crazy gutter downspout statues that are really funny. Lots of different decor. They have a lot of fountains and bird baths and things like that. So definitely check out this site for a lot of like really unique kind of garden tchotchke type things. I just love it. Look at this Bigfoot Yeti statue. Just so really funny stuff. So definitely check them out. The next is just hand repair. So this gardener's hand repair cream is really good. I love it. It's by, who is it? Earth Therapeutics? Earth Therapeutics. And it just feels really good, especially if you're out all day using your pruners and using all these tools. Your hands can get kind of beat up. So giving them just a little conditioning lotion for their hands, I think would be a great gift. And here's another one. This is a gardener's grits scrubbing soap. So if you're not a gardener, you wouldn't know this, but you, even if you're wearing gloves, you always seem to get like the dirt between your fingers or in your fingernails or on your calluses. I tend to get them. So this is a soap and it's got kind of a texture on it so you can scrub a little bit more and it smells really good. So I definitely check out these Moondance soaps. They're a great gift. And this is my favorite hand cream. So the other one is actually specific to gardening. So if you're trying to put together a basket or something and you want like gardening related things, great. If not, I would definitely recommend this J.R. Watkins hand cream. It's like a lemon scent. It smells so good. It's like a really thick lotion. I use this every day and I absolutely love it. You'll even see here that I, I keep purchasing it. So <laughs> next is this bath bomb set. So I always like to relax after a long day of gardening and this is like my absolute favorite bath bomb set. So I'm sort of, I'm not a bath bomb connoisseur, but I do enjoy them. And these are amazing. They all smell really good. Lots of floral scents lots of citrus, lots of different scents, but they don't stain your tub and they last long, they feel nice. And the packaging is just beautiful. It's like a beautiful gift package. You get this awesome box. Every single one of them is like wrapped individually. They even give you like a little cutter to like peel the, the plastic off of them. And they, yeah, they just, they just work really great. And everyone that I've ever given these to has given them back to me as a gift. It's really funny. They're like, oh, I know you like them too. So like, we just like exchange this back and forth. And I love gifts like this, where they're like things that you actually use. It's actually like a consumable gift. So I think that's a great idea. And here's a mug I got from a good friend of mine. And I think it's hilarious. It's easily distracted by plants and it's like a clear mug and just a perfect little cute gift for people who love gardening. There's lots of different mugs like this on Amazon and different places, Etsy, you can find them. So you don't have to go exactly by the one that I got from my friend, but any kind of mug like this, mugs are funny and I love them. Also, I'll leave a link in the description below to this gardening gifts board that I made on Etsy. So these are just some really cool curated list of things that I saw on Etsy. Some of these are like wildflower and herb papers, different vegetable garden seeds that would be cool or like little gift sets and things like that. So definitely check these out. If I'll be in my office with a little gardener so you could get the, that mug there. 
and a bonsai kit. Really cool, like lots of cool stuff on Etsy, so definitely check them out. This one here is one that I really liked. It says Mother's Day gift, but it's like a tea tree soap. It's like a hand balm and like a cuticle cream and like a scrub brush. brush. I would love to get something like this, so definitely check that out. And my next idea is these personalized garden signs. So if you go on Etsy, you can actually find these, uh, all different kinds of signs, like wooden signs or these metal signs. And a lot of the sellers will actually customize them. So you could put like your friend or your family member's name on it. I have one. When my dog passed away, I made a garden in her honor and I just have a little sign that says Sally's Garden. And I just treasure that. I think my mom actually got me a sign too that said, welcome to Amy's Garden. And I have that hung too, so great gift and really personalized so I love that and lastly there was this glass wind chime and I thought this was super clever and super cute so if you know what colors they use in their garden or any kind of wind chime really I have so many wind chimes I just love them you can never have too many wind chimes so even if they have one already you can give them another one and they'll love it okay so last just a couple places where you can really find some of these cool gifts obviously Amazon I showed you a lot that design Toscano website has a lot of really cool garden decor and fountains and things like that Etsy has a lot of personalized gifts and cute little gift kits you can also look at subscription box sites crate joy is one that I've used before and they have some gardening gift boxes in there and I find a lot of things on Wayfair or Overstock.com that are gardening related for a pretty decent price. Just watch with the shipping because sometimes it takes a little bit longer to get some of the items but lots of great gifts there. So check out all the links in the description below and I'll see you over in the next video.